Okay, so to create this simple tutorial we make, we're going to log in and we're to this screen here. We're going to hit create a new scenario and we can get to this screen. The first app we're going to want to connect is called Google Sheets. This is where our lead lists are going to live. We're going to have three of the same leads here, but obviously yours are going to be different than this. And if it doesn't show up here, you can actually just search it. Click into it. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. This lists all the triggers and actions you have available to you. We're going to click search rows. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to want to connect to your Google Sheets account. And then we're going to try and find the spreadsheet you want to use. We're going to click make tutorial. Select the sheet name. Next, we're going to add a filter in. And in this case, we're going to filter by status. So I want this automation to find only the statuses which are equal to marginal call. And if you look in the sheet, you see we've got two marginal calls and one wait. So we want to call the marginal call ones, which is both me in this case. And it doesn't matter about the sorting which order, unless you want it to. And we're going to say maximum number of returned rows can be three. Now we've got this up. The next step we're going to want to add is called an iterator. This is something within Make that allows you to go row by row placing calls rather than running it over each everything at once. Select the iterator. We're going to select the array. So first of all, let's run this module only. We'll see the results. We should get this result here and you can see the input and the output the output is giving us two bundles of information both with the marginal call status so that filter is working now you have the iterator we're going to want to feed it an array array is basically a group of results and in this one we're going to click total number of bundles that is the array that contains information after this we're going to click add another module and this is where we add in our synth flow module Synthflow AI phone calling, and we're going to click make an AI phone call. Now we get to a bit where we're going to have to log in Synthflow and find our model ID. So log into Synthflow account, find the assistant you want to use. And up here on the top left hand corner, when you click into an assistant is your model ID. I'm going to want to copy this one, go back to make and paste it into here. Pretty simple. Next give it the phone number this is going to come from our google sheet we're going to click phone number map that into there and then you have to pass it a name too so we're going to grab the name at this point we haven't set up a custom greeting to include this name in this flow this is just a simple tutorial covering how to iterate over phone numbers and then you can leave it this these are the only three that's required if you want to pass in any additional prompting you can but this is handled at the assistant level within synthflow um, you can do a webhook, but that's slightly more advanced. We're going to leave that for today. Press OK. And now what we should be able to do is run this, and I should receive a phone call to my phone. OK, so it's placed two phone calls with Synflow. We've got one here. Let me just hang up quickly where you can actually hear the interaction on speaker. Okay, I'm going to hang up on that one and you can actually see that it's passed two phone calls in here and another one came through at the same time so we now have a voicemail. So this is called twice to the same number. If you've got different numbers it's going to make those calls one after another so you're calling up multiple times and that's how to use make combined with Google Sheets and Iterator and Synthflow to make multiple calls out to your lead list. Super simple tutorial. In the next one, we're going to be more doing more advanced stuff, but this is how to get started with Make. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one.